You all have asked for more information on Plan B and emergency contraception, so let's get started with part one. First question, is all Plan B the same? And the answer is no. So there's four things you can use for emergency contraception, which means that you had unprotected sex, something didn't go right, and now you want to prevent getting pregnant. Number one, Plan B, the one that most people have heard of. It goes by lots of other generic names too, like My Way or The After Pill or Next Choice. And this is a leave-in or gestural pill. It's either two, you can take them at the same time, or one pill. The second one is Ella or Ulipristal Acetate. This is a one-time pill that you take. The third is the Copper IUD, so it can be used for emergency contraception and then left in place for your Plan A as you go forward. And the fourth is called the Yutzpi Method. This is a combination of birth control pills. Not just you take a handful of whatever you have, there's an actual method to do this. Okay, part two on Plan B or emergency contraception. Which one works the best? The winner here far and away is the copper or the Paragard IUD. 99.5% effective and it can be inserted up to five days after you had that unprotected sex. The next best is Ella, which is 85 to 98% effective and it's good for up to five days. And that 98% of effectiveness is the sooner that you take it, the better off that it is. So it works really well. And the third is Plan B. You might be surprised because that's the one we always hear about, but it's about 88 to 95% effective, but you need to use it within the first three days after having sex. And of course, the sooner you take it, the better it is. And lastly, the Yitzby method coming in at 75% effective. So definitely better than nothing but not the best method that we have there. Part three on emergency contraception. Can my weight make plan B not work? So the answer is yes, but it's not that simple. And it doesn't mean that at a certain weight, all of a sudden plan B just turns off and it doesn't work at all. It just means that it'll be a little less effective, but you can still take it. If you weigh more than 155 pounds, if you can get your hands on Ella or the copper IUD, that would be better because plan B may be less effective over 155 pounds. And if you're over 195 pounds, Ella may not be as effective, so the copper IUD may be your best choice. Important note, you should never be refused to be given plan B or Ella because of your weight. It's a weight guideline, not a cutoff or a restriction. Welcome to part four about plan B or emergency contraception. How much is too much? What's the limit on how many times you can take it? There's no limit. You can take it as often as you need, even every month, even more than once in a cycle. Now, is that ideal? No, because it's called plan B. Well, one of them is it's called plan B for a reason. It's not meant to be a plan A. It's not as effective as taking birth control or using other forms of birth control in a preventive way. But there's no magical limit. And I've seen some people here where they said their health teacher or a pharmacist or somebody said you can only use it three times a year, or six times a year. No, there's no limit. Does plan B cause an abortion? Let's talk about it in our emergency contraception series. The morning after pill or the copper IUD, they only work if you haven't ovulated yet. So that means if you are already pregnant, they're not gonna work, which means they're not gonna cause an abortion. Now, the definition of a pregnancy is a fertilized egg that is implanted into the wall of the uterus. And remember, none of these medications will disrupt or harm a pregnancy that's implanted in the wall of a uterus. Hey, it's part six six of our plan B series. I promise I can count. It's, sometimes it's hard. Do you need a prescription to get the morning after pill? So with plan B and all the generics that are like plan B, no, they are over the counter. There is no age requirement. You could be a guy getting it for your partner. There is no prescription needed. And if you find that a pharmacist or somebody in the store doesn't want to sell it to you, go to their manager because that's illegal. You can also get plan B shipped to you for about $25 online at afterpill.com but taking it sooner rather than later is better. So if you can get it in person or buy it ahead of time, have it on hand, awesome. Now Ella is a morning after pill that works better than plan B and unfortunately it is prescription, but you can go to this website here to get it and get the prescription and they'll do free overnight shipping. It costs about $90. So if you can get it ahead of time through your insurance and have it on hand, you can get it for cheaper. The best way to be prepared is to have one form of these in your medicine cabinet in case you have an accident ahead of time.